All right, we're onto another project here. We're gonna put a kicker kit onto this 89 soft tail five speed. Pretty much the same any of your uh, bikes up to 99 anyway. Yeah, light definitely screws with the camera. So right now we have no kicker in here. So we got a brand new kicker kit over here. We'll put this one on. So this one here is a Ultima kicker kit. No label. Private label. So anyway, here's the uh, deal here. So we're going to extend this out a little bit because it's nice and thick right here. So that's going to add all this height from here out here, this trap door. So it won't be a lot wider, but it'll be a little bit wider. Hopefully this exhaust system will have enough clearance. We put the stock type pipe on this bike, so it should help clearance it. So we'll see what we're going to do. Right now we're pulling the head pipe off up here. You scratch that fender up real good? good? I did. Good, good deal. Do you want to take it right off? The fender? No. Yes. The pipe? Yeah, take the nuts off. So. Alright, so we're going to get this exhaust off a little bit and we'll see if we can continue here a little bit. <clears throat> okay, we're going to look at this motor height right now. The customer uh, was looking at this brand new motor that just came in over here. Uh -huh. So he's thinking that maybe this 80 inch motor, which is kind of limp compared to his twin cam, is yeah. underpowered. So we just happen to have uh, one of these piece of crap Ultima motors here. It's a 120 inch all polished motor here. So he thinks this is too big to put into his, his, his stupid uh, Evo soft tail. So we're going to see what the fitment really is. So. Here, Mr. Shaky, don't shake too much. Yeah. Are we going to measure it? Here's what you gotta check when you do this kind of crap. You gotta, we have a clearance issue right here. Uh -huh. So we have that much clearance. So we can take half of that out if we have to. So you go down here and you measure it. So we go down to your cylinder base gasket right there and you go up to your very top and see how you're, we'll just call it 12 inches. Then we go out here to this little, little Pips, small pipsqueak engine. This little small 120. <laughs> And we go from the base gasket right up to your head. Now, where's that 12 inches at again? Right there. If you, if you notice, it's shorter than your motor. It's shorter. So, so much for the fitment issue problems. So they purposely make these boxes real rounded off here to clear the frame. Uh -huh. You still have the overall height issue right here in the center, but the corners and stuff are really sculpture cut on these because these are the same boxes they use on their 140 motor. Allows you to put your 140 in a more or less a stock frame because that's why they're cut out like right here. Because those motors are half inch taller than stock, so they are a problem. Okay, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do here. See now this kit here had no instructions at all with it. We got a lot of nice foam and crap, but no instructions, so we get to figure this out all by ourselves. I guess when you get a good deal on the stuff, you're not supposed to have instructions. Instructions, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what people think they know what they're doing. Nobody reads instructions. We already knew that. Yeah. So, why even give them to you? So we have a kicker pedal. We have a kicker arm. I think I can figure out how to put that together. This thing here we thought was some kind of extension. Looks like it's more like grease or Loctite. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll put some on your tongue and see what happens. Yeah. I know we need to have the uh, spacer to make it work. There's the spacer. That was in the catalog when I ordered it. We got a nice crappy ass 50 cent gasket, so we might invest maybe a good one. We have a new push rod extension, got some longer bolts, and we're missing something that makes this go in the main shaft. So then we got this bag here, I was opening up, and you can see there's, oh, there's some kicker ratchet stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. You're holding that, Mr. Shaky. Yeah. They don't shake very much, they get comments about that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking this might be the missing piece here. It's gotta be it. I'm still not sure how they're going to support this thing, so I guess they depend on that little, small little thing down on the inside to hold that thing on there. So, kind of a hokey arrangement, but what do you expect for a cheap price? That's right. You don't expect it to be good, did you? Alright, so we're going to have to take the cover off and see about putting all this on. And we'll just see if it works. We have no instructions. So, here we go. You want me on? Okay, we have got the cover off here now. He has some acorn nuts on here, so I gotta pull this piece of ultra right out. That's really heavy duty stuff. Okay, here's the rusty ass 
They're all bearing wood. Don't you keep your bike from getting water in it? Jesus. See, if you don't keep oil in your bike and you let water get in there, it starts rusting like this. I wonder how good the gears are. <laughs> now, this is the new piece here. So what's the difference between the old piece and the new piece? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's identical in length. So I don't know why they gave you a new piece. Maybe it's a different size or something. I don't know. I don't know why it'd be any different. It goes in the same hole. So I don't know. We might change this. Might not. We have to figure it out. Okay, so I got to take this nut here off to put on their new fancy nut here. This one. So this goes right in there. Well, now I know what that spacer's for. Yes. See, I'm figuring it out. I ain't that stupid. We don't need no dang directions. No, we don't need no stupid ass directions. It's hard to open a plastic Ziploc bag with one finger. Sticking directions. There it yeah, is. See, we figure it out as we go. So, see, that spacer goes in there, and then this nut goes against that spacer, and then that holds it all together. So, I bet you there's only like half the threads on this damn thing, too, when you're done. That ought to be really good. Yep. So, okay, so I'm going to go to our zip gun to pull that nut off. We're going to pull this stuff here out by double nutting and unscrewing it. And if we're lucky, those rusted threads will not break. And we'll take this out so we can clean it up. We're going to leave the push rod in there, though. So we're going to clean up all this stuff here. And we're also going to pull this cover off and clean it because it seems to have a little bit of residue build up right there. But we're not using this cover. I'm still going to clean the crap off of it. Okay. And we don't even know if we're going to use this cable because we have these big, long, ugly-ass low bars on here. That makes a wheelbarrow feel comfortable. And we're going to put a set of 12-inch apes on it, too. So we're taking this clutch cable off. We might use a cable, we might not. We'll figure that out in a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to take all this stuff off, clean up what's left, and see if we can keep these nuts here. They might, I think they should clear. So we're going to clean this all up and see what we got. Okay, we got the nut off here, got the gasket all cleaned up, got the stud that was all red locked, had in and out. You missed all the fun. So now we got our spacer here. You want to make one spacer. I told you there's going to be no threads left. Look at that. Two damn threads. I'm going to hold this big ass nut on there with two threads. Better not torque it very much. Better torque it a lot. You can't. That only holds the tranny together. It can't be that important. So we have to put some red lock tight on there. I don't want to even thread it all that. Look at that. You got no, all the threads are hanging out here in the wind. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, download some instructions. I was reading the book there. You can download instructions. So let's go read some instructions and see if we're doing this right. So. Are you, really? do that. Are you yeah. gonna do that? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah. You're gonna do that right? Now you're recording. Yeah, I got it. Okay, we missed that first five minutes, that's okay. Okay, I went and read the instructions. They're worthless. Okay, but what I did do forget to do, I forgot to pull the washer off the chair. And that adds another whole thread to the deal. <coughs> yeah, that's a whole thread. Yeah. So now we got like three threads if we're lucky. See now I got some threads to just look at. Plenty Loctite. Yeah, make sure you put a little bit of Loctite on there. And better put a little bit on the nut too, just to make sure you got some, because the little's all we got to hold with. And then they told you to tighten up with like 20 foot pounds of torque or some stupid number like that. So you gotta make sure you don't over torque it. So a half inch zip gun should be enough. I do it. Yeah, I was doing like 40. 400? Yeah. Okay. Is that enough? That's it. Well, you want me to over torque it, did you? Yeah. It's loose. We might get four threads. Yeah, well, you can see how many threads we got hanging out. <laughs> okay, that was, that was it for the installation of that. That was pretty hard to do. Okay. <laughs> now for the fun part. Now, they said you didn't reuse this, but they didn't say anything about putting it back in. Still not sure why we have to replace that. But they give it to you, so there must be a reason. Now I'm guessing it's the same thing, eh? I'm guessing that goes there. I don't know. They give you that little stupid ass clip that falls off. See the stupid mm -hmm. clip. Yeah, there's your big difference there. Look at that. That's huge. You know? That's what you're just enough. 
Yeah, it looks, uh, it's a good thing they gave us this new shit. Look how much different it is. <laughs> Same thing. Identical. Yeah, I don't see anything different. Same on that end, same on the other end, same bearings. <coughs> I can understand if it was a different diameter or something, but it's all the same. No different. You see how it wobbles around in there. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> okay, we can use the rusty one and put the new one in there. What do you want to do? I don't care. Get a mechanic. Oh, okay. I need to take this whole thing apart to get the cable in here. I'm going to take all these out to get that out to get that out. That's, that's fun. I think you need a longer L one too. When it fits. That's optional. When it fits. We didn't say it was metric. <laughs> kind of fits. Oh yeah. It's like almost no torque on that. Look at that. Yeah. Keep doing that, it's going to be rounded out because it's already rounded out halfway. Yeah, great. You know what? I don't understand why I have to pull it all apart. Does it say to? Yeah. Good thing I don't listen to what I read. Yeah. Yeah, you never listen to what you read, yeah. I didn't need the instruction before, I still don't need them. Yeah, that should come out when you do that. Hey, it came out. Come out. I don't know if we get that lucky with this one now. <laughs> Fancy springs on here. Yeah. We might have to get more fancy now though because now I get the other piece out of there. Yep. It's a whole other album. Yeah, it could be an album socket this one. What'd you get? With my little ratchet. Surfing turf? Look at you. That's a California burrito right there. Real one. Is it up there? Right here. Found it. Ain't no Midwestern know about the poison. Hey, we don't want to hear about your burritos over there. Hey, we yeah. This see a darn taco shop here, it's a motorcycle shop. <laughs> Surf turf burritos. Yeah, and bums come by, you can't kick them out. The Please kick on you when you do. <laughs> Surf turf. Yeah, let's see. Look at that. You realize you're going to get to my hood all rusty if you eat it like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you it's rotate the gear by the crescent wrench a, back here, nice then you get to the, the screw that's right there. <laughs> and then you can get the torque off it. But I don't think we'll be able to get a part though. But I don't think it's even the screw's gonna come out. No, yeah, it's not gonna come out. But I can get it loose. I don't know what the hell they're down. talking about. Yeah, I don't know. They might actually may have to take that apart, but I didn't want to give up that earlier easily though. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to give up. Damn, I hate following instructions. It's no fun at all. Okay, how are we going to get those things out because they won't even come out? I wonder if you just pull that big one out. Let's try that. Yeah, let's try the big one. Let's see what this one does. It's a good thing I kept all the old parts. It's under tension too, so... Oh, look at that precision fit in there. Beautiful. Like almost no clearance at all. Look at that. We know that's some quality stuff there. That's you can't just buy that anywhere. No. My fingers are there though. Maybe 
gonna be loose because it's not falling out. Where did that come from? Yeah, we don't need that. Look at that big square in there. Bingo! Gravity does work. The hell with the little screws. We're gonna have to time that though, see. Oh, I see. So we probably should mark this top and bottom. <laughs> yeah. Kick our arm be out like this. We don't have to kick it upside down when we make this work. Okay, so that part goes up. You know, if I marked it red, I could see it better, but... <laughs> we don't have red handy. No, red's not here. <laughs> You're lucky even the black one even worked. Blackie's there. Now, these are torrents and thrust bearings, so that's a nice design feature. That looks nice. Looks like they use the same screws in all these parts. Everything. That's nice. Good design feature. Mm -hmm. You could have sent the one Allen wrench with it. Yeah. Cost an extra dollar. <laughs> Can't have that. So here you go, that piece comes out. <coughs> and there's the piece we needed to get to. And there's your throwout mechanism, see? Yeah. Okay. Now are we going to use the same crappy cable or are we going to put a new one on there? Same crappy cable. Oh, yeah. What's What's the one that goes the opposite direction? Okay. This is going to fall out when I rotate it. So let's take this out before it falls out. That piece ain't going all that long. <laughs> well, I could have been wrong. <laughs> Well, that part didn't fall out. <laughs> Something else fell out. We didn't need it anyway. No, that's one of those. Uh, Purely optional. Yeah, that might be oh, one of those. Rigid. Easy release clutch thing you were telling me about. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we tighten that up a little bit. <coughs> okay. That went right on the floor, so we're okay. Nice and clean down there. Thanks for the engine. Yeah. Bolt you, you think it'll fit in? You, th you think it fit the, the old uh, the old shunt, the, the fucking iron. iron head? Yeah, it'll fit right in there. Yeah. Sports frame. Make it fit. Now you dropped it. At least you saved the ball. Yeah. Let me get the ball. You didn't videotape that though. I videotaped the falling. <laughs> no, yeah, I saw what your videotape was. It wasn't falling. <laughs> you videotaping something else. <laughs> now you're starting to shake too. Yeah. I can hear the comments I got already. Two things. Do you have the bike in today? <laughs> I got one in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Be ready to go. Ready to go. Brought one with me. I'll just go together. I again. knew I was coming here, so I took three Vicodin and I have one in my pocket. <laughs> He's prepared. There you go. This is kind of hard to get in here, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, they don't make it where there's a lot of room. No, it's not exactly a, an easy way of doing it. There's a hell of a cable too. Alright. You now we need a lot more cable length than what you got here. And we have another problem. That's not gonna work very well. Where's the old cover? Nope. Where's you the other cover? About here. Okay, cut. We need some parts. Just find me the cover. Okay, I have a little bit of a problem here. I'm thinking on the 
here I can see how the uh, o-ring is just squudged all out when I torque this down so I think it might be an adapter in there need that easy kit in there I don't, know, I don't use that crap anyway this cover here has a recess counter bore for the o-ring right in there no way and this cover here I don't think you had it but I also see that it looks like there's a bushing right here from that easy kit that we took out. So that's probably why the cable's so short and the lever's in the wrong spot. It should be over here. So I'm going to take this back apart and see what's in here and we'll get right back to you. What did I do here, man? What's that? Take a picture? There it goes. Okay, I think it's got an adapter on here for that stupid easy clutch thing. Either way, the cover doesn't look like it's right. So let's get this junk off of here. Roll ring out. Yeah, it looks like some kind of an adapter piece of crap. Here's my O ring. I'm hiding it from me. Hiding it. I purposely put it where I would not lose it. Okay, so we got a new problem here. Covers are made differently. Okay, there's the stock cover. It looks to me like it would tighten up and possibly hit on the outside edge. The o ring will do its job. This one here, it's just going to squash that o ring until it pops it out like it did on the other one. So I don't know how in the hell that thing would ever seal. So I'm thinking this doesn't use an O-ring here, because that O-ring ain't going to do nothing when we tighten this thing down. So we go look at instructions and see if they say anything about any of this. What? No. <laughs> instructions! <laughs> okay, figured out what to do here. This hardly uh, set up here is kind of a crappy design. There's almost no room to bottom out against the shoulder. You can see like there's a little mark where the hex was hitting on the outside edges. Stupid Ultima cover has absolutely no register in here. So they want you to leave the cable tight, but not too tight. So that means it's loose because there's nothing to bottom out again. So what I did was I took the O ring, jammed it up on there, then I took a 12 millimeter aluminum banjo washer and I jammed it over the O ring. So now we got a hard stop. So when you tighten this thing down hard like you're supposed to, then it will still have an O ring seal in the middle to keep it from leaking. But if you had it like the one here, you, well, you just tighten up until the only goes squash, and at some point you stop between touching and squishing it in half. And hope it doesn't ever move, which is bullshit. So, so that's how we do it. So now we're going to see if we can put it together here. <laughs> shit. Another stupid Evo design. Real bikes don't have stupid ass o rings on their adjusters. You tighten them down with a big nut and pull them down. <laughs> Like Ironhead Sportsters. <laughs> Ironhead Sportsters, right, Walker? Sportsters are great. Yeah, right, right, right. And Panheads that don't even have fucking cables. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. All well, they got is rods and bearings and linkages. Stupid cables. I'm sure nobody's ever had a problem with this before. It's only me. Well, that's why we put it on the line. Yeah. You may see there's more stupid people like me that think things are wrong. Okay, now that the cable is tight, see how it's in there? And the o-ring's not squished out all over the place. Oh yeah, definitely. Up too for me, so. those, those scratches are extra, you gotta charge extra for that. Okay, now the cable's still too damn short. So we have to go up here and adjust our cable. Over here. We're gonna get to this thing, we've got all those stupid ass clamps over here. What the hell is this design? Okay. This looks custom. This 
cable is a piece of crap. Oh, it looks like you're going to need a new clutch cable. Yeah, it's coming apart. A new $75 clutch cable? Oh, and it was fully tight, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they got the screw adjuster in here, and they tighten that against that so it wouldn't rattle, but the cable is actually loose. Plus the housing loose in the cable. That, that's not a switch fit anymore. See, that used to be way to hell down here. So that is not at all like it's supposed uh, to be. Yeah, that looks like a... I think this cable is going to be a problem over here. Put on the other one. Yeah, look at that thing. That, that's... This is some custom stuff here. You, you don't see stuff like this just every day. <laughs> this is some quality merchandise over here. Oh yeah, look at that. I think we might have to modify this and maybe like take this crap off. Yeah. <laughs> you need to put a new one on? Needle to it. Get the bolt cutters. I just got done putting this whole thing together over here. Really nice stuff here. Think how much they paid to have this done. Sorry. Think somebody paid? Oh, that is some... The tweaker down the street? This is some quality stuff here. That had to be at least a 50 cent clamp there. Come on. Okay, now it is pinched in there, so we're going to have to have a wrench down and pinch it. You didn't bring a wrench with you, did you? Oh, What year is this? 89? Mm-hmm. was that is that the Goodyear Evo? No. No, it's the worst year. Is it the worst year? Yeah, we're missing tools again. This foreskin stole my half inch wrench and didn't put it back yet. Foreskin. So how many of them are floating around here? There's three of you guys right now here. Probably four, yeah, that's about right. Tatro's yeah. free tools. We get to misplace them. Yeah, takes me a month or two to find my missing tools. So you're gonna replace that whole uh, clutch ca uh, cable? Yes. Someone like you might have worked on it once. Yeah. That's probably That's pretty accurate. accurate. <laughs> but there isn't there's there wasn't any duct tape put on it or anything like that. No, they didn't have any duct tape, so yeah, it couldn't have been you. <laughs> it must have been the other one over there. Oh <laughs> yeah, good old Walker. No, we don't use names here. Oh yeah, never mind. The nameless will remain nameless yeah. unless the accidents get mentioned. Okay, now the, the plastic got interrupted and all this crap here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and steal this flat O-ring, and we're gonna keep the, the new banjo washer that's still new. Okay, I'm gonna take this ugly ass cable off. Well, it's all rough, it's all rotted on the other side. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. it's rotted is right. It looks like there's a zip tie down here too holding this all together. Oh then yeah, it's pretty accurate. That's that's look like I would do that. Yeah, I did that. For sure zip ties, black zip ties? Zip yeah. tie? It's your work? Yeah, I did that. So, there, that one's gone. Oh me. This is almost out of here now. Zip tie key. How many more zip ties before this is out of here? There's like four. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that one's coming out the other way. This side. It's looking better already. Okay. I see you take the gas tank protector off. Look at that big scratch you put in there already. See now you take the gas tank protector off. Look at that. Get a close up of that. Look at all the big scratches. Jesus off. Christ! Give me that gas tank protector. <laughs> Shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is why I don't bring the bike there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking reason. <laughs> You're not the only ones to get blamed for everything. <laughs> Shit. They'll buff out. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have to buff out. Yeah, that'll teach you not to go to Harley Davidson. Remember that. I learned when you were banging my fender last night and the fucking paint all came undone. I did that on purpose, too. I know you did. It didn't, didn't rub, though, did it? I'm going to piss on your race bike. <laughs> All right, it's open up right now. You piss on all you want. <laughs> Hell, it might run better. Probably will. All the shit I'll take it. <laughs> High octane. Fucking it. Fucking the tiles are on.
Do we get that big scratch you put on the front fender showing yet? Or? We didn't show them that one? Okay, don't show them that one. <laughs> I get blamed for that too. We only really took the wheel out. My feelings times. are really getting hurt now. We only took the wheel off three times. <laughs> okay. Now, are we going to put a stainless steel cable on it? Yeah, you can sell that one. Are we going to put a junk Harley one on there out of the pile and back? No, let's put the good one in there. This one has a nice piece of custom plastic on it now. Oh, jeez. That's protectant. You can put that on the back of your head. That's fucking protectant. <laughs> protectant. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're going to go find something to use besides this one. All right. All right, we got this new cable all lubed up. We're putting it on. Damn thing won't fit inside the housing up here. Stupid ass parts never fit. Oh, I didn't have to pull that off. Makes it easier. So I measured a cable. It's 367. The hole is 356.57 and 3 8 should be your standard size which is 375. So this is undersized, full of chrome, who knows what the hell the problem is. This is 373 reamer which is undersized. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there and cut that hole back out to like it's supposed to be. I just hope I can run that in there by hand. but. Kind of protesting, but it's going. And there's the stupid ass phone. All right, so we're going to cut that hole out with the reamer here and get it done. Okay, that's reamed. I don't, without knowing exactly what you got, I don't know if I have half of them for you. There's lots of different ones that are out there. I don't know which one you have. All right, we got a new cable going on. We do. Well, I don't know. Well, this goes in a special way over here. Don't put this in backwards. Oh, that. You're gonna miss it. You better hurry you're up. It. Uh, Camera. Uh, so he missed it. He blew dry it over there. See how it's got that flat spot right there? You have to put it in that way. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I got you. If you did that wrong, when I get out of air to get out of here, what am I gonna do? I can't breathe now. Damn people. Minions out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick all you assholes out of here. <laughs> there it is. It's so good. It's so good, dude. <laughs> Where's that smell of vision when you need it? <laughs> okay. You see, now it looks like the cable's the right length. Oh, look at that. Before it was way the hell over here. Oh, yeah. Looks a lot better. Okay, I need that black piece I just put down. Which one? This one? This one here. I don't know. I'm, my brain's been gassed. It's hard to tell what I'm doing right now. Go <laughs> <laughs> give me a bottle of Loctite. Been gassed, gas. Go give me a little blue bottle. Red or blue? My light duty blue. Light There's duty red. Blue. There's red right there. I don't want red. I'll never get the thing apart again. I'm looking for my Allen. This guy? This stuff all disappeared around here. You only have red over here. Yeah, I know. Why don't you go to my workbench where the stuff's out? Fun! Hurry up, it's only a three hour video. Light duty blue? Yeah, that'll work. That's not the right one. What do you need? The other Allen. That one. There we go. See, it's going to be done before I get the walk tight, but... Hurry up! <laughs> I'm finding the right one! Stop boxing me around! Okay, cut. Is that it over there? Yeah, it's over there in the box. Where's the, uh, missing bolt washer? It's got a bunch of fingerprints all over it. We forgot Ooh. something. <laughs> <laughs> i just pull the whole thing out. Just pull the whole thing out. There you go. We forgot this. We didn't um, need these parts. Another... Oh wait, nope, nope. I thought it was coming in. It sounded like it was coming here. I need the gear. Oh, this gear? I don't care if you're filming. I just need the parts. All right, so you're putting this sucker back together. Trying to. No instructions. Just fucking going for it. Well, they were online, but you know, it takes a long time to go get a computer and read it and all that. That's all these other little parts here. We didn't need them. We don't need all these extra parts. That's great. Yeah, uh, selling on eBay. I don't know why they gave them to you. They're just yeah. extra. Okay, make sure the washer has the countersink up. Give me a screw. Which one is it? 
black one right there. We almost touched it. It's a very complicated design here. You didn't, you didn't put in this older piece? What piece? I don't know anything about that. I don't know why I want to change it. Okay, where's the other Allen at? The real Allen. That's too big. Look for something else. No, oh, that's too big too. Okay, the kicker works. Is that how you know how torque went in? That must be the right torque. Must be it. <laughs> For the Allen, we don't need all on torch. We haven't stripped this out yet. Okay, I think that's tight. It didn't move. Okay, so here's our kicker here. Seems to be working. Did I do it right? Hell no, I didn't do it right. Of course not. We made a mark on it. Oh, the mark's in the wrong spot now. Unless you want the kicker lever at this angle this way, it's wrong. No. You don't want it here? Why not? I want it where you made the mark. Well, the mark's supposed to be. <clears throat> well, it's not in that spot. Well, shit. I mean, shucks. Manufacturing defect there. Oh, the lock test good now. So he's gonna adjust the, the position of the uh, kicker. Yeah. If that's the problem, I don't know how you're gonna adjust it with one knot. I, I don't see how that's gonna work anyway. It's not even in the right spot. There's a stop on the back side of the gear that dictates where it goes. You put a lot of a lot of twist on this thing like right there. Washers are in there. See a stop right there in the pin? It stops over here. That's how it works. Time tooth out. Tooth is stopped over there. That's the right spot right there. I'm gonna press that one down. It takes three hands at once here to do this. Straight up and down, you know? That looked easy, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That looked like we knew you were doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know how it's supposed to be. <clears throat> and tell us where you want it to be. It's what good thing we it? had those instructions. Yeah, yeah, I think the instructions told us how to do all that. It's called timing the kicker mechanism. straight up and down where it belongs and it has tension on it so it'll return and it works kind of <laughs> it's kind of hard to work it by hand and everything's falling out now this gear here is under a spring so you got to spring it back and not get your finger in there as you come back it could hurt a little bit if it hit you no. you didn't need all the meat on that thumb did you no 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 okay then you're all right Okay, so there it's all back in. Cable's in it. What's that fancy push rod that they want us not to use? Yeah. Okay, here's the one you're not supposed to use because it doesn't work. Oh, 
Obviously, it doesn't fit at all. I still haven't figured out why we got to change it yet, because it's no different when it comes in the package. Okay, where's your gasket at? We lose that too? It's right over here. You gonna use this one? That one, right? This one. Well, you can use that one. I'm gonna use the good one. <coughs> I went for the $5 one, not the 50 cent one. But, you know, you can do whatever you want. What do the customer want, though? That's the real question. $5. I'm working on it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, now why are we missing the dowel pins to hold all this together? I took it. There's supposed but to be dowel right. pins in these. How was that pin we took? Okay, was that one we took out? Okay, well, we'll come to non stop. Figure out what's missing. Okay. Right, what, do we, what do we figure out? For some reason, this cover does not have the dowel pins in it, so it must be an early cover or some kind of aftermarket cover made wrong. I don't know. All I know is there Ooh. should be two dowel pins on here to support your cover to keep it lined up on the tranny. This doesn't have it. And see how you're going to be kicking on it, it'd be nice to have them. See how the dowel pins are here? But they're supposed to be stuck in this cover and they engage in here. It keeps it all aligned. So all of this stuff is not in this bike. Mm, this doesn't have it so either. So this is going to... I didn't have it on the old cover either. We're just going to be using the six bolts is going to hold it, so it's not going to be very good. Yeah. <laughs> not very good. That's very uh, encouraging for Without the Without changing out the whole transmission side trap door cover, what are you going to do? It's made that way for some reason, so... It is what it is at this point. Let's get the plastic bags gotta go. Who's making that now? This one here is an ultimate kicker kit. Oh, is it? I don't know the transmission. I thought this it used to be sharp. I had that. I guess he sold it. I thought this was a stock bike, but maybe it's not. Who knows? I think the gasket's pulling You thinking again? No, one of the holes didn't line up. Oh. And then I realized it was one of the dowels that won't need any shit out of it anyway. <clears throat> I figured out he was wrong and I was right. It's going together. Obviously that's not working very well. This is screwing up come out either. So I know. That's all those fails. He's a different one. Yep, that looks like the right one. I know those threads feel like crap. Yeah, it looks like it's a pretty good gap. This ain't gonna work. We gotta figure out what's wrong with all this hardware. Alright. Nothing fits in the holes correctly. 